Day number 12 for encouragement and prayer for betrayed wives. I want to talk to you about the concept that God is good. God is good and he's good all the time. But why God? Well, really, why God should be why husband? Because God didn't do this. God wouldn't do this. God wrote his word to protect you from this. If your husband was obeying his word, this should not have happened in your life. This wasn't your fault. It's not about you or your age or anything you can come up with. This is about sin and your husband's choices, not about you and not about God. Your husband's choices doesn't change the nature, the heart, the character of the Almighty God. The Almighty God is a good God. I want you to believe He's good. Believe, even though you're in pain, even though the story's crazy right now, even though there's distractions and confusion and people's opinions, and God is good. At the very heart of who He is, He's good. So as you pray through the season, as you walk through this valley, as you have to make decisions and changes occurring, know that God's good. Believe He's good. It's okay to say, Father, I know you're good. I don't understand. This is confusing. I don't want to go through this. Even Jesus said, Father, right? If there's another way, but not my will, thy will be done. God's will, be close to him. Walk with him. Talk with him. Be messy and share and cry with him. That's his will. But he's good. And believe he's good. And that he has good for you. So right now I'm going to pray for your faith to believe he's good. Father, this woman's heart has been betrayed by her husband. She has been legitimately injured. But that's not your will. It wasn't your will that this accident would happen. It wasn't your will that her husband would continually resist your convictions. But I pray for her heart not to get confused between the husband's choices and your desire for her. I pray, God, that you give her faith to believe you're good and that you'll walk with her, that you're a good God, you have good for her, good for her family, that you are able and willing to be with her. So I pray, God, for her faith to believe that you're God, believe that you're good, believe that you're willing and you're moving toward her in great ways. I pray for a heart to trust you, that you are a good God. In Jesus' name, amen.